Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a WhatsApp contact button for your website. So this is how it's gonna look. We can see that on the bottom right corner, we have this WhatsApp button. And we also have an entry animation. So if I refresh this page, we can see that it fades up from the bottom. And when we hover over this button, we have this text called contact us. And when we click on this contact us button, we are taken to the WhatsApp page. Now, if you click on this button on a smartphone, then it will prompt to open the WhatsApp application. And then you can open your WhatsApp application and it will automatically redirect you to any number that you have over here. And you can start chatting with that number. And if someone is using a desktop, then it will bring them to this page right here. And if I click on continue to chat, it says that you don't have the WhatsApp application installed. And you also have this option called use WhatsApp web. So if I click on that, you'll be presented with this screen right here, which is WhatsApp web. So you can open your WhatsApp application on your smartphone and go to settings and click on WhatsApp web. And then you can just scan this QR code right here. And then your WhatsApp will be opened on your browser. And it will automatically bring you to a screen with the conversation with the number that you have specified. So this is what we're going to create in this video. Let's get started. Right, so I have created this empty project and uh, we're going to use VS code to write the code. So in this video, we will write all the code for designing our WhatsApp button. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to add it to your blogger website. So first of all, let's go ahead and create an HTML file. So let's go to new file and let's type index.html. And we'll also create a CSS file. So I'll just click on new file and we'll just name it style.css. All right, let's start with the index.html file. In VS Code, you have this shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's also link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. Right now for the WhatsApp icon, we'll be using font awesome icons. So just search for font awesome 5 CDN on Google. And we have this first link over here called cdnjs.com. Just click on that. And you can just go ahead and click on this button called copy link tag for all.min.css. So let's go back to our uh, code and uh, in the head section, we will just paste the link. All right, so we have the font awesome icons CDN added to our website. Now let's start with the markup for our button. So we'll create a division with the class of WhatsApp button container. So I'll just type WhatsApp button container. And in that we will have an anchor tag for the actual button. And for now, I'll just leave href blank. And in here we will add the WhatsApp icon. So let's go to the official website of Font Awesome. So here is the link, fontawesome.com. And here you can just search for WhatsApp. And here we have these two icons over here. Let's just select this one right here. And this is the code to add this icon. So let's click on this and it will be copied. And let's go over here inside the anchor tag and I'll just paste it over here. And now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed on VS code. So with that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here you can see we have this WhatsApp icon displayed on the top left corner. And now let's add the contact us text that we get when we hover over this button. So let's add that after this anchor tag. So here I'll just create a span and in that I'll just type contact us. All right, our HTML is ready. We have this button and also this contact us text. Now let's go to our style.css and let's start styling this button. Now we want this button to be displayed right here on the bottom right corner. So first of all, let's target the WhatsApp button container, which is the container division right here. So let's target that. We'll just type WhatsApp button container and we'll set the position to fixed and uh, we will set the right position to let's say 30 pixels and uh, we'll set the bottom position to let's say 24 pixels or well, that looks all right. And uh, let's also add a padding. So we'll just add a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom and left and right. 
All right now let's style the button so let's target that we'll just type whatsapp button container and here we have this anchor tag as the button let's also add a class over here so i'll just type class and we'll just give it a class of whatsapp button all right let's target that over here so I'll just type whatsapp btn and uh, let's set the font size to 48 pixels and I will set the color of the text to 25d366 right now let's style this text right here so it is a span we can see we have a span and that we have contact us so let's target that over here here I'll just type whatsapp button container and span and we'll set the position to absolute and I will set the top position to 0 and uh, the left position to 4 pixels and let's set the font family to Roboto and I will set the font weight to bold and uh, let's also set the color of the text to 075E54 now in the beginning we want this text to be rotated a little bit and when you hover over this button we want it to be rotated 0 degrees so let's go ahead and type transform rotate Z and we'll rotate it 20 degrees and we'll also move it to the right a little bit so I'll just type translate X and we'll type 10 pixels All right now in the beginning we don't want this to be visible so we'll set the opacity to 0 so I'll just type opacity 0 and when we hover over this button we want the text to be displayed so let's type whatsapp button container whatsapp button colon hover plus span now we are typing plus over here because uh, this whatsapp button and this span are siblings so they are under the same parent so we have to add plus for that now here we will reset the rotation and the translate and also the opacity so let's copy these two lines from here and let's paste them over here and here for the rotation we'll just type 0 degrees and translate x to 0 pixels and opacity of 1 now if you hover over this button we can see that the text is being displayed but we want to have a smooth transition between both the states so let's type transition of all to 400 milliseconds now when we hover over this we can see that the text is being displayed now when we hover over this button we also want the button to scale up a little bit so let's add that so we'll just type whatsapp button container whatsapp button colon hover and let's type transform scale and we'll scale it to 1.2 right now let's hover over this button and it is not scaling that's because uh, the anchor tag by default is display of inline so we can see that this is an anchor tag so we have to change it to display of inline block All right now let's hover over this button and we can see that the button is scaling let's also add a smooth transition so I'll just type transition all of 400 milliseconds and now we can see that everything is working all right now let's also add an entry animation so let's go back over here to whatsapp button container and we'll create a CSS animation for that so let's type animation and we'll name the animation fade up and I will set the duration to 1000 milliseconds which is one second and uh, we will set it to four words which means the animation will uh, stay at the last frame All right now to create an animation you have to type at keyframes and then here you have to type the name of the animation so we have named the animation fade up so I'll just type that over here and in here you can specify percentages so you can specify from 0% to 100% we'll just add 100% over here and uh, here we'll type bottom position and we'll set it to this value right here so I'll just copy this and paste it over here and uh, we'll also set the opacity to 1 and here at the top we will set the opacity to 0 and we'll set the bottom position to negative 50 pixels and now here we can see we have this fade up animation now let's also add a delay to the animation so here we will type animation delay and we'll set the animation delay to 1000 milliseconds so after one second we will have this whatsapp button displayed over here so let's save it and here we can see after one second we have this button pop up and when we hover over this we have the text being displayed 
Now the last thing we need to do is add the link for the WhatsApp contact. So let's go back to the HTML and uh, here we can see we have left the href blank. Now to add the WhatsApp contact link, we have to type https colon and forward slash forward slash and uh, you have to type wa dot me and then just type forward slash and then here you have to add your phone number and you also have to add the country code. So I'm in India so I'll just type 91 over here and uh, then you can type your phone number after that. So just add your country code and then your phone number. So I'll just add a random number over here. So whenever you click on this button, we want the WhatsApp application to open and take us directly to the conversation with this number right here. Or if you're using desktop, you will be taken to WhatsApp web. So let's click on this. And we can see that we are taken to this page right here and we can see the phone number is displayed over here. And if you're using a smartphone to open this, then uh, you will have a prompt to open the WhatsApp application. So you can directly open the WhatsApp application and start chatting with this number. Or in this case, we can just click on continue to chat. And uh, then we have this option called WhatsApp web. And you can just open this and then just scan this using uh, the WhatsApp application on your smartphone. And then you'll be good to go. So that's how you can create a WhatsApp contact button for your website. So that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.